Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. It's Jasmine with a three-card spread. This is for the Zodiac sign of Scorpio. This is your monthly for February 2020. We have three, car three cards here for you. We have the Two of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the Seven of Cups. Okay, Scorpio, let's get started. Let me stabilize this camera. Okay. I am seeing Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius with this card. Um, you could have been involved with a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius and uh, trying to make a decision over this person, whether it be a relationship or friendship, a job, or, you know, some type of partnership. Um, here we have... This person sitting with their back to the water, and the water is murky. It's not smooth. It's not calm. And you also see the rocks that are jagged, so that means if this person falls over, he's going to bump, he or she's going to bump their head, get hurt on these jagged rocks. There's a blindfold here. So this person literally doesn't know what uh, sits be behind him. So that, that kind of like pertains to... The choices you're trying to make. They're, you're at a crossroad. This represents a crossroad. So right now, this is in the recent past. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm still sick. <clears throat> this is in the recent past. Let me get a drink. This is my Dallas Cowboys cup. And as you can tell, I'm a cowboy fan. Okay. So this is in the recent past or just happened or is happening and you're leaving the situation behind. So you're trying to make a decision, didn't know what to do, didn't know which way to turn. This is how you were feeling. Why should you turn your life, your life this way? Where, where should you turn? Um, it, it felt like a real difficult decision for you to move on. So you were stuck. I also see that you were in a temporary truce with something or someone. Maybe you were fighting with someone, but you decided to do a temporary truce. I see stalled ne ne negotiations. Um, I'm hearing negotiations. Maybe you're uh, working in some project with someone, but it's stalled for some reason, or you stalled it because someone can't make a decision. Whether it's you or this other person, they can't make a decision, or you can't make a decision. But you feel completely on hold, or you felt completely on hold. You felt delayed and confused about a direction that you should take in a relationship or in a job or a partnership or something like that. You felt like you needed guidance and direction. Um, but you, if you notice that this person is still holding the wands upright, up straight, okay? So that means that... Um, that she still has power and still is in control of her own uh, destiny. So you still have the power and you're still in control of your own destiny because you're holding up bright, you're holding up straight, they're not falling, you're just stuck. You felt like you're stuck, you weren't sure what decision to make. So it looks like in the next card that you did make a decision. And here we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and this is the card of, um, you know, the American dream. They're sitting... Look at how they're holding their hands out and the children are playing. They're so happy. And there's a, a cottage back here. So I'm guessing that's their American dream home. And each one of these cups represents something that the universe is giving you. It'd be money, emotion, love, good, well, good health, good wealth, you know, stuff like that. That's what those cups represent. So literally, this is the, the card of success and marriage, love, and family. So it looks like you made the right decision and you moved forward and this is where you ended up if you are in this phase now. Or if you're still trying to decide, then this is where your decision is going to lead you to this right here, this situation right here. Okay, I see lasting happiness. I see um, an indication of marriage. Either if you're not married now, someone's going to ask you to marry them. A Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in the month of February or... Um, a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Um, I'm seeing, yeah, I'm seeing that. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm seeing that the, you're, you're going to be shedding tears of joy is what I'm hearing. You're going to be setting, shedding some type of tears of joy because you're going to either be buying a new home or moving into a new home. And I'm also seeing the birth of a baby or, or bringing home a new baby. Someone 
that is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is going to be uh, having a new baby, saying that they're going to have a new baby, or wanting to have a new baby. Um, and you're moving in the in the cycle in your life where everything's just going to flow like magic. So you're going to have these tears of joy just flowing because of all the happiness that's coming to you. Okay, so um, the only thing I say, be careful with uh, Mercury Retrograde because it starts February 17th. And we are officially in the two-week shadow phase. So if you are planning a wedding, I would wait to put it off until after February is done. I mean February. After Mercury Retrograde is done. Or, yeah, because we're already in the shadow phase. I would not get married in the month of February. Where if that's what you're planning, well, good luck. Because I would not... Anything that you do during Mercury Retrograde is going to fall apart. Any de uh, agreement that you make, any contract that you sign, or anything like that during Mercury Retrograde is going to fall apart. So do not sign any contracts. Whether it's a marriage license, a new job, a new home, or whatever. Wait till that phase is over, and then you'll be in the clear. And if you don't know what Mercury Retrograde is... I made a video about it. You're just going to have to scroll way down and see it because I made it about a month ago and I'm probably going to re-upload that one soon because we're already in the phase. We have two weeks shadow phase of Mercury Retrograde before we actually hit Mercury Retrograde, okay? Because I do see loss of friendships and fighting and stuff like that um, and, and even bad weather conditions, floodings. I see all that stuff during Mercury Retrograde. So if you decide to get married during that time if you don't then you're safe and if you're already married you don't got nothing to worry about okay now scorpio here is the seven of cups so i'm seeing that you're going to have in the near future this is after probably february or in the end of february or during february you're going to have many many choices that the universe is going to hand you which most of them are great, but some of them are not. So you're going to have to be careful because here we have the snake and the, the dragon or whatever. And then we got one that you can't even tell what it is. So this is how you're going to be. You're going to be in a phase where you're deciding to make choices, which again, like I said, here you're making choices. Okay, what should you pick? Where should you go? Where should you turn? Because there's a lot of things offered here as far as money, home, uh, relationship and so on and so forth and even one that you're not sure of I most definitely not would not pick the one that I'm not sure of because this card is here to remind you and tell you that you have to weigh your pros and cons before you pick okay because you might end up with something like this under here right and then you don't want that to happen so this is the uh, card of fantastic vision. So you're going to have fantastic vision because the universe is going to all of a sudden hit you. It's just going to dump all this stuff on you. And you're going to be like, oh my God, look at all, everything that's coming one after the other. Should I pick this? Should I pick that? Should I move? Should I not move? Should I get married? Should I pick him or her? Um, you know, what should I do? Uh, because you've been stuck in a certain condition ju just due to wishful thinking. You used to be like, oh, I wish I could get married and I wish I could move it into a home and all that. But wishing never brought anybody anything, okay? Because that's just daydreaming, okay? If you want something, speak it into existence, but not by wishing, okay? You, you have to manifest things in a different way by writing things down on paper and actually speaking them out and saying, okay, I'm going to have a new house. I'm going to buy a new car, not I wish. Because wishing is just daydreaming. Daydreaming doesn't get you any place. Okay, so uh, this card is here to remind you to weigh your pros and cons first. Check everything out thoroughly because a lot of things are going to be coming at you, especially Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is going to offer you money home, relationship, and this person is going to be well off, and um, yeah, I saw this in the cancer reading too, um, so be careful with who you're going to make any deals with as far as work, because I do see work deals as well in this, like um, they're going to be offering you bonuses, like sign-on bonuses, $1,000 sign-on bonus, uh, make sure those are legit because I see a lot of those on the internet. So make make sure those are legit before that you actually sign up for something like that. And if you're going to quit a job, make sure you have another one already hired before you quit one. Don't quit a job and, and sign up for another one in February. Wait again, wait for the Mercury retrograde to pass and then you'll that job will last. Because if you, anything that you start 
in February is not going to last. I'm telling you right now. It's okay to get all these choices, but put them off and into making a decision until the end of um, actually March 5th is when Marguerite Gray goes direct. Okay, I'm going to have to reload that video so y'all can watch it again if you can't find it. But I know if you scroll down, you will see it. It'll say Mercury Retrograde. <clears throat> okay. So, yeah, I am seeing also a little bit of self-indulgence for some of you might be indulging in all of this, which is not good because if you indulge in all of it, even the bad stuff, then it's going to take you nowhere. It's going to end up, you're going to end up with nothing. Okay, you can't indulge in everything. And some people say, why not? Well, yeah, why not? But you got to be careful what you indulge in. Indulge in all the good ones. Okay, indulge in all these. Don't indulge in all of these because look what's sitting here. See, do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, so because I am seeing self-indulgence in alcohol, drugs, and um, also self-indulgence in sex. So be careful if you're having unprotected sex, because you will catch a disease. I'm sure everybody knows that. Um, not everybody tells the truth. You know, they say, oh, I'm clean. That doesn't mean that they are. Okay, so please take care of yourself on that part, because I do see a lot of overindulgence in sex. I see overindulgence in drugs, alcohol, smoking. Be careful with your health this month, Scorpio, because you got a lot of offers coming in. So that means a lot of celebrations, a lot of people offering you drinks and foods and stuff like that. So be careful with your with your health, okay? All right, then. Don't forget to choose reality over illusion. I'm here. I just heard that. Choose reality over illusion. And don't get fooled by illusion. All right, Scorpio, that is your monthly for February 2020. Uh, thank you for watching. If you want a personal reading, contact me with the information down below. Remember, this is general. It doesn't resonate with everyone, and that's okay. You can come back for another reading, or you can contact me, and I'll give you a personal reading. My rates are real reasonable. You can look at the information down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for everyone that has subscribed so far, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.